Hello, let's talk today about these two, the Shutter Pro version 2. As you can see here, I have it on my desk and I keep my hand on this two all the time. For editing videos, it's pretty easy to use, pretty fast, like uh, my workflow here now includes this two and I cannot live without it, right? I keep my hand here, my left hand, and my right hand, I use the mouse, okay, all the time. So basically I do some stuff with my right hand and some other stuff with my left and it works pretty well. Okay. So, uh, the part that I don't like here is that uh, I start like losing the acrylic cover here on the buttons, right? This can like release very easily. And then sometimes I, I lose the acrylic protection here, the acrylic buttons, right? It comes with some stickers that it can use and you can print other ones like I did here, but they are easily lost, right? So that's the problem. So I lost three of them and I can't replace it because I cannot find this anywhere, right? But other than that, I like this too. I have uh, all the buttons here programmed for my software. As you can see here, I have this in the screen, DaVinci Resolve. So you can use with DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, or whatever software you are using. It, it comes with some programs for these softwares and you can customize for your needs, just like I did here, for example. I have some buttons here for rip, delete, for snap, save my project. So go backwards and forward. I just memorized here because I lost this one, but I memorized that this is forward. Stop, play, things like that. And also you can use the jog here, this one and this one, and some extra buttons here that I, I don't use that much. I'm, I use more here because I keep my fingers in place and I don't move them. I don't move my hand from here, okay? So I use different fingers for different functions here and it works pretty well. So let's take a look here on my screen. As you can see, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. And here I'm using the mouse to move this with my right hand, for example. And then when I stop somewhere here, I just use my finger here just to make a cut. See, I cut here, then I can do this, for example, move a little bit forward and then make another cut really easy okay if i want to select something i select with my mouse right hand and here with the other finger i just change from this one to this one i just hit delete and that's it okay so it's pretty easy to add video like that so i can move faster with my mouse or i can do some faster movement as well with this jog here okay some precise movements and also that way so I basically use that way and that way, forward and backwards, and also move here, this jog. And I just cut, move to the place that I want, cut it again, select with the mouse, click here to delete. So it's pretty useful, right? I can also click here to play it. And then I stop, cut it again, Move it again, cut, delete. So pretty useful, okay? Let me just do some control Z's here because I don't want to mess up with my project. Okay, but basically works like this and it's a very good tool. Okay, so I've been using this a lot for a long, long time, for years now. And the only thing that I wish could be better is that acrylic protection here, right? Other than that, I love this too and I recommend it.